Hi guys, I thought I'd have another look at this programmable ESC that I bought a little while back and the programming card that I bought to go with it. Now in the previous episode I'd got this rigged up on a little uh, car that I was running up and down in the kitchen here using this hard drive motor. And what I found was as soon as I tried to give it full power, it was actually dying, cutting out. And the only explanation I could come up with was maybe the ESC was recognising too much load was being drawn, and it was cutting the power. And I left it at that, didn't do any more. Well, today I thought I'd have another look at it. So I've got it rigged up again. I've got rid of the car, we've just got the hard drive motor on its own and I've painted a bit of black on there so we can see that it turns. Before I do anything else, I'll just go back to the video description. There's a link to the eBay um, item that I bought and I was sure when I bought it, it said that it, was, it got forwards and reverse. And yet, when I tried to use it, I couldn't get reverse out of it. Well, I've gone back and looked at the description again, and it definitely says it should be able to do reverse. It should have a brake function, a selectable brake function, and it should do forwards and backwards, uh, forwards and reverse. I can't get it to do that. I've been sitting here fiddling around with it, trying the different settings, and I cannot get it to go in reverse. But I think I may have figured out something about why it was cutting out when I was giving it full power. And I think it's actually down to this hard drive motor not really being the right sort of motor. But anyway, back to this. It's plugged into the programmer. We'll give it some power. I'll use a 3S LiPo because it's designed to take it. So we get the selections come up. I'll just press reset. So we're back to whatever it should be. And I'll send that. Right, so at the moment the settings are all at default. So if I unplug it, unplug it. Plug it into my receiver. Put the power back on again. Right, I think we're okay. Let's have a look. Yep. So, motor goes. And with no load on it, we can go full throttle. And it's got quite a bit of torque there. That's heating my finger up, putting that on there. However, if we slow it down, and you'll notice it took a while to slow down there. If I start it up with some load on it, by gripping it with my fingers... You see it's struggling. And now it's not going at all. Power off again. We're okay. Give it a bit of load to start with. It struggles. Give it full power and it dies. And I, as I say, I suspect that ESC is detecting that there's too much load on it, and it's cutting it. So, that may be right. I can't really be sure, because I can't read the instructions. They're in Chinese. So we'll assume that's what the problem is. We'll assume that 
the ESC detects there's too much load on the motor and cuts the power. We'll try some of the programming again though. So at the moment, full power, power off, and it just slows down gently. Take the power off, unplug it from the receiver, plug it back into here, the right way round. Power back on again. Right. This time we'll put the brake on. That's the first light. So, brake on. Send the signal to the ESC. Power off. Unplug it. Plug it back into the receiver. Power back on again. Right, we're there. So this time, power up, full speed, and I'll power down and you'll see how quickly the motor stops this time straight away. So the brake works. So that part of the programming works. As for any of the others, I don't really find any use for them. The voltage cut-off cut level um, would be relevant if you were flying or something like that. Start mode normal, soft and very soft. I don't think I'll be able to show that here, but I would guess that sort of prevents wheel spin when you're pulling away with your um, RC car, if you start off very soft. Timing, I've no idea. Low, middle, high. Music, um, that's blanked out when I try and use this. I don't know whether that will make any difference. And reserved item, well because we're in Chinese, I have no idea if it has a reserved item. It didn't seem to make any difference when I tried it just now. I'll stop here and I'll do a separate video on the music option.